Hello, welcome to another episode of ARK Survival Evolved Mobile Public Multiplayer. I'm Dr. Tukara. And in today's episode, we are going to resurrect and tame an eerie uh, Capra uh, so that we can breed with this guy. Or girl, I forgot her name. Her name is Gabby. Uh, and I should ha I think it's her, her mate that I have with me. So let's resurrect them uh, so we can breed our new cave runner. Or it's really we're testing this out to see if it's something we like. Uh, that should be the one right there. Now I do have a new bow. Let's close these doors. This bow is super strong. Okay, one hit and it's down. Calm down, guy. All right, so what I want to do is I'm going to use, since I'm going to breed this, uh, I'm going to have to do something a little different. I'm going to level it up first. Let's put some, uh, what do I have? Yeah, I've got some of these. Let's put some of these in there just to keep it uh, knocked out. We want it to be pretty high level to breed with ours, uh, and then we'll get us we'll get an egg in just a few minutes. Let's get to about yeah, we can get to two fifty. So what I did was, after our last dungeon run, um, I, uh, I turned the server on Brutal, and I spent a couple of hours running caves, and I have basically upgraded everything. So I'm going to show you my new armor. Well, let's look this way. My new armor. So this is how I look now. And you'll see my armor rating in the corner, uh, top up here. Uh, it is six, almost 7,000. So I have went up quite a bit. Uh, I upgraded my sword. I upgraded my uh, assault rifle, my shotgun, and my bow. My bow is massive. It will one hit and kill an alpha raptor. So I'll take it. So it's going to make dungeon runs a lot easier. Uh, so we'll see how they go. Let's get back to this guy. Now he should be ready now. I lost my prime. That's okay. He's going to tame really quickly the way I did it. Uh, when you force the levels in it makes them super hungry and they eat almost immediately. Okay, so while he's taming, which he's going to be done in just a second, let's bring our girl in. Uh, why don't you stop, stop following me? No, not that. I'm looking at her. Let's fix my whistle first. Okay, perfect. And him. I'll look back at her. Okay, she's she's going. And if I whistle stop, they will not move. So I'll just do it over and over until they are bred, and then I'll turn off wandering. She's already at 
So you can see she's a level 428. Uh, she's got pretty good stats on her. But I would like to get them better with the, the uh, imprint boost. That's why I'm going to breed them and uh, raise a baby. Fifty six percent. Seventy percent. I like it. Ninety percent, almost there. Ninety-five. Got it. Turn that off. Turn it off for him as well. Okay, so they'll sit there for now. Let's check the egg. Where is it? There it is. It's too cold, so let's put it in the air conditioning in our breeding chamber getting a little crowded in here come on guys you're blocking my air conditioning Well, let's see if it works. That's not gonna, they're gonna have to do better than this. They can't block things off like that. Okay, 23 minutes. I'll have a new Capro. And I'm sure it's gonna be uh, super cute. So I have made a few changes around. I changed my garden up a little bit. Since I have the garden up top, I don't really need this out front anymore. So I just made it more decorative. Rotated crops, one to one. It looks more like a, a home. I did add a couple more of these bad boys. Oh, they're, they're mature now, nice. Somebody's got their raft in my backyard. That's going to have to go away. Shooting fish. I hear you, man. I hear you. Okay. I do have my uh, mated quetzals. They're back. So everything's going well. Uh, my uh, my griffin finally uh, matured, so that's good. There's there she is. So now they're both imprinted and uh, mature. I'm gonna have to get rid of the mom, but right now she is being a foster foster mom to the hatchlings from the eggs that I had left over. And I'll have one more egg after this, I believe. There's two babies up there currently. As long as they took care of them, and I'm sure they have. I got a new Bronto. <coughs> nope. They're not... Oh, they're double-teaming him. 
that didn't take long. You guys are ruthless. Yeah, see, uh, I like the way that looks. That looks good. Let's get a look from back here. Yeah, I like the way the plants look. Nothing new inside the base all that much. Just a couple of rugs and things. I did notice here that your dodo rugs, you can see the size difference. Well, the one on the left was from a giant dodo. So the size of the bird that died is going to be reflected in the rug once you put an implant in there. So obviously I need to replace that one. I like the really giant uh, rug there. That's really cool. And then there's my uh, my Titan boa from the current dungeon. Uh, I got the implant and put it in there, and it's it's an eerie. There's little Willie with his little helmet on. I believe that's going to do it for this episode. We still have to wait, uh, I guess, around 20 minutes for a baby to be born. So not much I can uh, do with that. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, so I'll see you next time.